Ciao a tutti, Marcello here. The upcoming months promise to be replete with thrilling releases in the realm of turn-based RPGs at the large. Today, however, I'd like to shine a spotlight on the indie projects where tactical combat forms the foundation of the gameplay. Let's go! Card RPG, the Misty Battlefield, is a cross between Fire Emblem and Slay the Spire, combining a character-driven anime war story with tactical depth on two fronts. While merging two genres, indeed, even these two particular genres is nothing new. The Misty Battlefield looks to be a game that does so with equal parts, style and art. The free demo is well worth a play for interesting players and there isn't that long to wait until lunch. Cards RPG is currently scheduled to release on 22 of May. The much anticipated Broken Roads, an indie CRPG that takes Fallout or Wasteland style gameplay and transports it to a post apocalyptic Australian outback, was initially supposed to launch in November but was delayed. While there's still no official release date, anyone who's had their eye on Broken Roads is going to be eager to play this philosophical epic. The game's most hyped feature is its unique morality system, which gives character a much broader perspective than simple good or evil. No doubt, the combat, characters and story will leave just as much of as an impression on players when the time comes. Skald might have the appearance of a classic CRPG from the early 90s, but the gameplay and story feel firmly modern. With cosmic horrors and gruesome deaths awaiting your party of heroes, this is the kind of dark fantasy adventure that would have been a classic back in the day. Whether you are longing for the glory days or taking a retro journey for the first time, Skald offers challenging tactical battles and foreboding environments to explore. It should launch sometime this spring and the free demo is available to try right now. We are the Zodiac Legion. Our enemies beset us on all sides. Once our nightly... We've all played X-based combat games, but Zodiac Legion feels a bit different. It somehow manages to blend Diablo with Heroes of Might and Magic, creating an experience that's part dungeon crawl, part tactical RPG. We explore ancient ruins. Leading the titular Order of Knights, you recruit and train 12 mighty heroes ready to face the growing dangers of a changing world. The demo will give you an idea of what the game is like, but there are likely to be plenty of changes in the future. Zodiac Legion is scheduled to enter early access towards the end of 2024. If you are a fan of Final Fantasy Tactics or Tactics Ogre, then Swords of Convalaria is definitely a game you'd want to check out in 2024. With bright, colorful environments and beautiful character art, its visuals alone are enough to draw players in. Not only is there a demo available, but Swords of Convalaria is also listed as free to play. There will surely be in game purchases for monetization, but with the price of entry set at zero, there's no reason not to try the game. <laughs> Why 
一つ一つが大事な選択です最後まで皆さんと共に戦いますすでに選んだようですねこの平和な世界のためにプロジェクト・ヘイヴン、could be the next surprises hit for tactical strategy fans, leading a team of mercenaries in a dystopian near future city. You'll select which jobs you take and how to outfit your crew. Project Haven has both story missions and a skirmish mode, which is great if you're just looking for a one and done battle. The fights themselves include realistic projectiles, physics, and hidden locations, adding a degree of realism to a genre that typically relies on abstractions. If Marvel's Midnight Suns left you wanting more super-powered grid battles, then Capes should definitely be your next stop. Featuring a team of original heroes fighting to liberate a city from supervillain tyranny, this game looks and feels like the best kind of indie comic. Like all the best superheroes, the playable characters in Capes are at their best when they team up. Building your squad will challenge you to select not just for the individual powers, but for how they work together as a whole. If the game is an indication, Capes will be one to watch when it launches later this year. Hexen Hunters is a tactical RPG that evokes Darkest Dungeon and Bloodborne. If you're looking for some grim dark fantasy to while away the hours, look no further. Each of the eight available party members is highly specialized, so picking the right hunter for the job is essential. Not only will you train and upgrade your team, but you'll also be in charge of a small village, your bastion against the darkness enveloping the world. You can even ally with one of the cults if you are willing to risk using the power of evil for the greater good. Speaking of dark and dismal fantasy, Prelude Dark Pain is an upcoming indie title that looks to have desperate, greed-based battles against insurmountable odds. The game's deep world-building culminates in the rise of Soren, a humble blacksmith who becomes a revolutionary leader. Like Exxon, Prelude Dark Pain has a similar visual style to Daga's Dungeon, perhaps even more so thanks to its thick outlines and puppet animations. 
Players who like more than just fighting battles should have a look at this one since you'll be leading a rebellion between fights, forging alliances, setting goals and managing resources. Arco has a charming pixelated style and clever turn-based mechanics that make it unique. Following the story of four different heroes, you'll resist an invasion by the Red Company intent on stealing your homeland. With its plan and execute battles and lovely environments, Arco is the kind of game that you need to try if you want to get the full picture of what it is. Thankfully, there's a demo to play while we wait for the game's 2024 release. Alternate history sci-fi often asks how human conflicts might have looked if they had access to advanced technology. With dick juggles and napalm fueled infernos, Krieg's front tactics portrays a Vietnam-like war with mechs. The demo shows off the game's potential for cinematic moments during battle, as well as the potential for emergent storylines as your mech pilots fight to survive. Urban Strife is classic zombie survival straight out of World War Z or The Walking Dead. Starting with only a single survivor, you'll slowly build up a shelter and recruit more people as you reclaim the world from the undead, one block at a time. Urban Strife's big selling point is its ballistic base combat which uses realistic trajectories for weapons like shotguns. Choosing the right weapon for the job has never been more important when the dead are closing in. Is anyone there? Calling all frequencies. Dream Tactics is a love letter to Game Boy Advance era of Fire Emblem and Advance Wars with a surreal fantasy world all its own. In addition to the usual positioning and use of area attacks to win battles, Dream Tactics also includes a hand of cards. You get a limited number of red draws, giving you some control over the options available to you. Tactical games typically can't be defined as cozy, but if everyone did meet that description, it would be Dream Tactics. There's not long to wait, either, as it's scheduled to launch on 15th of April 2024.
There are tons of games inspired by Fire Emblem and the White Raven could end up being one of the best around. It's already shown off its gorgeous pixel art and character illustrations and promises to have challenging tactical combat to keep players thinking. With story that changes based on player choices and the ability to befriend, romance or even develop a rivalry with party members, the White Raven has a ton of potential. There's no release date listened yet, but hopefully we'll get to try this ambitious indie title this year. This video ends here. Let me know what you think about this 15 tactical indie gems in the comments below. Remember to hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel and also consider supporting us through all our pages. Wish you the best. Ciao.